question number seven. Is xenon tetrafluoride a polar or nonpolar bond? So first, to answer this question, we would need the electronegativity values of both xenon and fluoride. So I am going to look these values up. So let me just search electronegativity, negativity values, and then the periodic table. Okay, so the electronegativity of first xenon is found right at the end here, and it is 2.6, and the electronegativity value for fluorine is up here, so it is 4.0. So now we want to take the difference in electronegativity values. So it's going to be 4 minus 2.6, which is equal to 1.4. So therefore, this is a polar bond. But I also wanted to just show what would happen if we would uh, draw out the molecule of xenon tetrafluoride. There are four fluorine atoms, symmetrically like this, and there's also two lone pairs. So as you can see, this is a symmetrical molecule, and also all these polar bonds can be written like this to show all the dipole moments, since fluorine is more electronegative than xenon. However, you'll notice that these bonds tend to cancel each other out. So the xenon tetrafluoride molecule as a whole is actually nonpolar, even though the bonds that are within the molecule is all of them are polar. The molecule itself is nonpolar. So I'll just write the explanation. So since it is symmetrical, and also the dipole moments are cancelled out. Okay, but to answer the question, the xenon and fluorine bond is polar. So the junior tutor said, xenon tetrafluoride is a bond between an atom of sulfur, two atoms of chlorine. <laughs> I think they meant so between an atom of xenon and four atoms of fluorine. To determine if it is a polar or nonpolar, we have to solve for the difference in their electronegativity. Difference greater than 0 0.4 means that the bond is polar. Xenon has an electronegativity of 2.6, while fluorine has an electronegativity of 3.98. Okay, so they found the difference in electronegativity, and since it is greater than 0 0.4, that means the bond is polar. Let me just fix the typos. So this solution is correct. Uh, let me just make some corrections.
So this should be greater than 0 0.4. Therefore, polar bond. Yeah, but I'll still say this solution is correct.